Hey, yesterday was fall kickoff at all of our campuses. Just such a fun day of just tailgating and, and people out meeting the various groups at, uh, at the tents. Uh, signing up for groups. If you didn't get signed up for a group, you can still do, still do that. Go by your information center of your campus and uh, just talk about your stage of life and where you are and, and they'll hook you up with a great group. Uh, yesterday uh, was week two of Game On, and uh, week one we, t we kind of based it off the game Quelf. Uh, uh, yesterday we based it off of the game Jenga, and so it was fun. We had these huge life-size uh, uh, Jenga sets uh, and had a couple of groups competing uh, and playing. And the whole point was, was you know, sometimes uh, you've got, you got gravity working against you in that, in that game. And all the time that you're playing the game, you're worried that everything's going to fall apart. And that's, that's how life feels sometimes. And so that's why we talked about you really need a small group in your life. You need a group of people around you living life with you. Uh, and so we, we kind of base it off of uh, Hebrews 10, 24 and 25. It says, and let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another all the more as you see the day approaching. Uh, and we talked about how that some pastors want to use that passage uh, as, a, as a church attendance passage, which church attendance is obviously really, really, really important. More and more in our culture today, people are church people. They, they, they are a part of a church. They attend a church, but they attend it less and less than what they used to. Uh, and, uh, but uh, that's still a really important thing. It's really important for your family, but that's not what this verse is talking about. This verse is talking about intimate relationships, people who know you, people who know what's going on in your life and know what you need to hear to push you on to the next level. And so that happens in smaller groups, not in large group settings where people can't really uh, get to know each other. And so small groups is really um, are really, really important uh, for, for, uh, in order to live out this principle uh, that's, that's listed here in Hebrews 10. Uh, and so we just encourage everybody to get into a small group. It's absolutely essential because what we said as our bottom line is, is you can't become more like Christ on your own. You can't. You, you need to be uh, investing in somebody else and somebody else needs to be investing in you for you to become uh, what Christ wants you to become. I've talked to several people lately who have said things like, you know, um, I feel like I'm closer to Christ now than I was when I used to go to church. That sounds good. It sounds possible even. But really, when you look at Scripture and how many one another's there are in Scripture, how many different things that Christ told us to do together, uh, and you look at that and you think, there's no way we can be what we're supposed to be in Christ apart from one another. And so we need the church, we need the church attendance, but we also need small groups in our lives. People who know us well enough to talk into our lives, invest in us, and we can invest in them as we grow up in Christ together. So if you're not in a small group, again, you need to get into a small group. Um, and if you're watching and you don't go to a Northridge campus, get involved in a small group at your church as well.